Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Stacy and I post every probably Monday, Thursday, Saturday, at least that's the posting schedule we are on right now. So about three days a week we are posting. Welcome to my channel. So hit the subscribe button if you are new here so you guys can get notified when I post on my channel and hit the like button on this video if you like it and leave a comment below. So let's get on into this video. Today I am doing a makeup tag. This one I actually found on a, another channel and I thought it was super cute. The channel that I found it on was Aisha Vander and I watch her channel consistently. She is an amazing YouTuber and her makeup tutorials as well as like her reviews are spot on. So she did a makeup collab with some other YouTubers and she posted the tag questions in the description box of her video and she was like if you guys want to do this tag here are the questions so I was like oh this is really cool so I decided to do this makeup tag it is the curated 2020 mid-year tag so basically it is questions that I'm answering but then it's only about makeup that I have purchased for like in 2020. So let's just, let's get into these questions. So question number one, what was your most disappointing purchase? So the first thing that popped in my head was the Peacock Flare Mascara Waterproof Edition from CoverGirl. And this one disappointed me so, so much. I actually didn't even know it was waterproof until I actually started applying it on my eyes and I was like, wait a minute. Is it, what is this? And I looked and it is a waterproof formula. So. One of the things, I just don't like waterproof formulas in general. They tend to clump on your lashes, they never come off, and it, it can destroy your lashes. And I was expecting this to give me really great volume, a really great length, like separate my lashes the way like, when you think peacock, you think like flared and beautiful, and this product did not deliver. And I it's because it's waterproof and it was just the biggest disappointment I had. The waterproof formula is not good at all. I tried getting it off of my eyes and it wouldn't come off. It actually took me several tries of like washing my face, putting baby oil on my on my face, using an eye makeup remover, using a micellar water, using lotion, and finally I was able to get it off and it it's waterproof mascara just isn't for me so number two what purchase surprised you the most Ooh, this is like a really a really really good one and if you guys can hear the construction downstairs i am so sorry we're having renovations done on our house and it's kind of noisy so hopefully you guys can't hear that but if you can i'm so sorry so what purchase surprised you the most it would have to be the she glam beach sunset eyeshadow palette and Definitely the packaging was the first thing that drew me to this eyeshadow palette when I opened it and I did my whole like she glam full face but then I opened it up and inside were these gorgeous like <sighs> they look they remind me of Valentine's Day because they're all like this like pinky orangey color story and it does look a lot like the sunset vibe that's on the front of the packaging as well. I didn't expect this to be as good as it is and if you guys haven't seen the video where I, I put on this eyeshadow palette in the full face of She Glam I do suggest you guys go check that out but what I absolutely love about this palette that certainly surprised me was the actual quality of these eyeshadows. The mattes are very, very easy to work with. They're blendable, they build up really nicely. They're not patchy on your eyes. The foil shades are so pigmented and creamy. They actually have a couple of duochrome shades in this. Like this one has a pink to orange shift in it. This one has a pink to purple shift in it. And the way that they created this eyeshadow palette and the way that the actual quality is of these eyeshadows is amazing. And I paid six dollars for this and this completely like blew me away it surprised me so so much the third question what has been my most expensive makeup purchase so far in 2020 and I would definitely have to say it'd have to be the Jaclyn Hill Morphe 2 palette so I got the Jaclyn Hill Morphe 2 palette as you guys can tell, I haven't even opened this yet because I haven't even used it. I haven't had a chance to use it or swatch it. I just watched reviews. Let's do a little bit of a backstory. So at first when I saw the release of this, I was like, oh, 
no, like that's not going to be a really good, like it's not going to be a good palette. And then I watched a review by Robert Welsh and he did a really amazing review. He's actually a makeup artist over in the UK and he did a review of it and he convinced me. But I was like, I still don't want to pay $39 to wear a Jaclyn Hill palette and I was still kind of on the fence. And then one of my friends, she got the Jaclyn Hill palette and she was like, oh no, like it's true what they say. It is so good. It is so creamy. It is so pigmented the way that the formula is it builds up really nice like the purples apparently build up really really well and they are pigmented and they're not hard to work with so this was the most expensive purchase of 2020 I found this brand new on Poshmark for $34 and I have yet to use it. I've actually kind of been saving it because I want to use it more in the fall months than I do want to use it right now because it has like all of those purpley like pretty berry tone shades in it. So stay tuned for looks on this palette but I really this was the most expensive single purchase that I made this year so far number three what was the most inexpensive what cost me the less from 2020 out of products that I have purchased and there's a couple of things that came to mind one of them is the she glam waterproof eye pencil this is the eyebrow pencil and then the other one was the in studio mechanical gel liner I paid a dollar fifty for the waterproof eyebrow pencil and it was like a dollar to a dollar fifty of the in studio gel liner i have used both of these the she glam waterproof one it's like your standard eyebrow pencil it does have a spoolie on one end and then it has the pencil that you know rotates up on the other it actually it reminds me a lot of a makeup revolution pencil that i used to have and love and the formula is pretty decent quality, really pigmented. I mean, it worked just the way an eyebrow pencil is supposed to. It was $1.50. I really did enjoy it for the price. It was really, really good. And then we have the gel mechanical eyeliner from In Studio. This can be found at Walmart, and I think it was like a dollar to a dollar fifty, but it was really, really inexpensive. And this eyeliner goes on really creamy, smooth. There is no type of like it doesn't go on funny at all like it's just it's a really good eyeliner for the price that I paid for it as well it you get what you pay for and more like this does work really really well for how cheap of a price that it is question number five what has become an everyday product for me out of all my purchases that I have made in 2020 and the first one I have to go to is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. This one is in Dim Light, and this has become an everyday product that I use. I love using this as like a face powder to kind of like blend everything together after my face is done, and it just gives myself like an overall like airbrushed effect, and it makes me look brighter, more refreshed. It even like evens out my makeup, like if something's a little bit patchy, it just, it blends everything together very, very flawlessly. It really does blend my complexion, smooth my complexion, and then it also sets everything in place. It makes my makeup last quite a bit longer as well. So another staple product that has, like I use every single day is the regular formula of the Peacock Mascara. And I tried this one after being so disappointed with the waterproof formula. I was like, okay, the regular formula probably is really good. So I went out and I got it and I love the effect that it has on my lashes. It lengthens them, it volumizes them, it makes them look like the peacock flare that you would expect from the name. So it does deliver the non-waterproof kind. And then paired with the Clump Crusher Mascara, you get very, very beautiful feathery lashes like what I have today. I wish like I could really give you guys like the full impact of what these look like in the mirror like to me sometimes they look absolutely fake and so these two together have become my two like go-to everyday mascara combinations they are perfect and neither one of them are waterproof so they come off my eyes and it's a very painless process like I can use an eye makeup remover and they just melt away and then I wash my face and these two are really really great individually and together but together they are amazing and then there was another one I had to add in because it has become an everyday I use this product every single day or pretty close to it because I just love everything about it and 
It is the CoverGirl Skin Milk Foundation. This is a light to medium coverage foundation depending on how well you build it up. And what I really like about this foundation is that it evens my skin tone and it still covers like the blemishes that I have but it keeps me looking natural, fresh, and dewy. And you can see my freckles through it. It just, it makes me look like I'm not wearing anything, but it adds a little bit of extra something to my face. It never looks cakey, it doesn't wear down funny, and it just looks like skin. So good. Question number six is, what was your favorite purchase for special occasions? And it really isn't a beauty product because, I mean, it is a beauty product, it's not really a makeup product. And it is my mini sutra wand that I got in a boxy charm and I use this wand for special occasion occasions. I can't talk today. I did do a hair tutorial at the end of my Honest Beauty video. If you guys want to go check that out, I do suggest you go watch the hair tutorial so you can see how this sutra wand works. I didn't pull it out because it's like mixed in and no. So I'll leave a picture for you guys up on the screen so you guys can see what it looks like. But it has a shorter wand and then it has a plastic tip on the end. So it is easier to use, easier to use in your hair. And I don't find myself burning my hands, burning my face, burning my ears, burning my neck. Like I have had other ones like the full size wand of the sutra wand or even my full size lounge wand. And I've burnt myself so many times on those. It was just really hard to maneuver, especially when I have shorter hair. And the mini wand, it gets really, really hot. It heats up in 60 seconds or less. It leaves me with either super ringletty curls or I can get a really loose wave in my hair. It is just a really great hair tool. So if you have medium hair length like me, like short to medium, then I do suggest getting this mini wand. It is so good. Okay, question number seven. Which favorite product met or exceeded my expectations? And the first thing that came to mind was the Milani Luminoso Blush. And I actually tried this one not too terribly long ago. I want to say at the beginning of July. And ever since then, I've been using it every single day. And it really did meet and exceed my expectations. So I watch a whole bunch of different YouTubers here on the platform from Taylor Wynn to Everyday Heidi to Rage Loves and you know everybody in between and a lot of the YouTubers that I watch raved about this blush and th this baked blush I was like okay I really got to try it because so many of these people from a smaller YouTuber to a bigger YouTuber really raved about this blush so I purchased it and I had some pretty decent expectations of this blush and when I put it on oh wow like it was so good like it was way better than what I thought it was going to be to the point where like it exceeded every single expectation like I expected it to be good like what they said but I didn't expect it to go beyond that and it did this is a very very nice pigmented formula but it also has like a sheen to it. It's really, it has a sheen to it. So like you can build it up or you can just use it on its own. You can build it up on its own and you can create a really nice corally blush natural look on your face or you can layer it on top of another blush. And I have been doing both. I've been using it individually, I've been using it with another blush as a blush topper, and it performs so well on so many levels. It does a really nice job of giving me that like natural glowy look no matter how I use it. So today I used it as a blush topper, and it gives you like this natural glow that doesn't look over the top. It isn't like glittery, but I would say it has more of like, it kind of reminds me of like a satin finish because it's not really a matte, but it's not really like super, super glittery either. It's kind of like an in-between. It's really satiny. It has like a glow to it. Like it, it's a blush topper and it's also an individual blush because it can be really pigmented and it can be built up really nicely. And I would definitely say the second thing, cause I do have two in this category that met or exceeded my expectations is the Deck of Scarlet edition number 18. And I just did a full like unboxing of this palette and I did a look with it. And ever since then I've actually added it into my everyday makeup bag so that I can use it every single day and just really get a feel 
feel for this palette. So I always hold a really high standard with Deck of Scarlet because of them being a subscription box. You pay $30 for the subscription, you get a full palette, and then you get like something extra on the side. So sometimes it's a mascara, sometimes it's a brow gel, sometimes it's a lip liner or a lip gloss, and they charge you $30 every two months. And I hold it to a really high expectation because one, they angle it as it's an all-in-one face palette. And then two, they normally collab with YouTubers, beauty YouTubers. And this specific palette, they actually didn't collab with anybody. And I was holding this to a really high, you know, you guys need to, you know, give me a really good product. And it exceeded my expectation. It went way beyond what I thought it was going to. This palette is so beautiful. This is one of the best, if not the best palette that they have come out with. Like I've fallen in love with some of their other palettes, but this palette I can wear every single day. It is such a great palette to work with and it comes with some shades that they've never really played with before. So like we have Wild at Heart, which this is a super, super bright poppy pink color, but it also ships to a purple, so it's a duochrome. And then they have here, First Light, and this one shifts from a yellow to an orange, and they are absolutely stunning. And then I tried the lip product, and the one that I was really, really impressed with is this Trailblazer one, because this one also does a shift in it. It goes from a corally pink to a yellow, so... goes from a corally pink to a yellowy golden. Like this entire palette that they, oh my gosh, like they did such an amazing job on this palette. I was so impressed. I was so blown away by this palette. It exceeded every single expectation I had of it. They need to come out with more palettes like this. They, they need to keep up their game and come out with more palettes like this. Question number eight, which has been life-changing in a sense of my makeup game. And the first thing that came to mind is a primer I have been using and it is a game changer, complete game changer for my makeup routine. I always use a primer. And I've used so many primers over the years from NYX to, um, Oh, Maybelline when I first started out to a unique touch one that I liked at first and there's other ones that I found that are like way way better and then I stumbled upon this primer and it is from The Ordinary. It is the High Adherence Silicone Primer. Okay, so how has it changed my makeup game? Well, The Ordinary is actually more of a skincare brand. They have a lot of skincare that they produce and this one I found out from Kelly Gooch. She is the one who featured it on her channel saying like this was one that like completely blew her away, that it's, you know, totally worth what you pay for it, and it doesn't cost a lot. It is a $4.90 primer, so under $5, and it acts like a high-end primer. Now, the thing I really like about this primer is that even The Ordinary says that you can use this as a part of your skincare routine, or you can use it as a primer for your makeup. So what that tells me is that it has really great ingredients that help your skin and then it also has amazing ingredients that prep your skin for makeup. What I have noticed with this one is that it fills the nooks and crannies that I have. Like I'm getting older, everybody is getting older, so I do have some like wrinkles under my eyes, I do have some oversized pores on my nose and on my chin, I also have some you know laugh lines up on my forehead and it fills every nook and cranny and it smooths my skin. And while it's doing that, it also evens my skin tone out because it has a white base to it. You guys can see some in the cap right here and it goes down dry and it goes down translucent but it starts out white so it evens my skin tone on top of filling all my nooks and crannies and then it moisturizes my skin as well i have noticed like a difference when using this primer that my skin is a lot more moisturized and it just it preps my skin so well for makeup this primer 
definitely has been a game changer for my makeup routine. And the second one is also a primer that has been a complete game changer. It is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Primer, Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer. And it is so true to its name. It does hydrate and it has hyaluronic acid in it. I actually use this in combination with the Pretty Fresh foundation that ColourPop just came out with. And the two pair together, so beautiful. Like I, like they were just perfect. But I've actually used this primer with other foundations and it still holds up to its name where it hydrates, it plumps your skin. It actually has some other ingredients in here like coconut milk or coconut oil, one of the two, I can't remember. I threw away the box. And they don't, they don't put the ingredients on here. But the other ingredients that they put in this primer really, they do an amazing job. I actually use this sometimes just on its own as a moisturizer for my face so I can get that hyaluronic acid in there. And I have noticed such a difference in my skin with using it on its own and with using it with my makeup. It plumps my skin, it refreshes my skin, it leaves the feeling dewy and fresh, but it's not like overly tacky. And this is a game changer 100% in my makeup routine. Both of these primers have changed the way my makeup goes on my face so much. It lasts so much longer and it looks more flawless on my skin. My skin looks better overall, like the actual complexion that I have without makeup on and it just, it looks beautiful. So question number nine, I actually added this one onto the tag and it's talking about new releases that you are excited about. And the reason why I added this one on because it's a new release. What are you looking forward to trying that is going to be a new release in 2020 that you 100% know you are going to buy? You're going to be either in line when you're shopping online or you're going to be in line in store checking out with this new release. And I would definitely have to say it is the Raw Beauty Christy and Pure collab. I actually was in line and I had to pre-order this makeup palette. I would actually have it in my possession if it had worked the first time around, but it didn't. You guys will find out more when I actually receive the palette, like the whole story behind it. But in any case, it is the one makeup release I am dying to get my hands on. I have seen a lot of reviews up on YouTube already that this palette is super pigmented. It blends well. Christy did a really, really great job with the package art. And it is the new release I am looking forward to. And it should be here in like September. End of end of August, beginning of September, and I'm just ready for it. Like, I need it in my life right now. Makeup tag for 2020. All of this stuff that I have, you know, recently purchased in 2020, it's doing like a whole update for you guys. The curated 2020 mid-year makeup tag. And I will post all of the questions down below. So if you guys wanna do this tag, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a good thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. What are some of your things that have changed your makeup game? What was something that was a favorite purchase and a least favorite purchase? And I would really like to know. So leave a comment below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!